Welcome to the Pilgrim's Project. Hey people, it's the Pilgrim and welcome to the Pagoda and Water Garden. This is not really a traditional Chinese base, not like the courtyard house that I did. Um, but I did take some inspiration from like some pictures and things that I see. Like with the small bridges and all the stonework around there. All I did was run water pipes right up the length of that. Put some catwalks out from the stone and put the crop plots on top for the plants outside. This is the bottom floor of the main pagoda. So I've painted every single little section of it, painted all the underneath of the ceilings are all red and white as well. Painted all the support red going right the way up. The bottom base part of the base of this is like a crafting area. So you can reach the vaults on top. If you're not too bothered about using the walls, uh, not the walls, sorry, the doorways that go around the side, um, you could put more vaults all the way around there, I was thinking. This second floor I did for like maybe cooking and put the chem bench in there and ran all the electricity from this level as well and just put loads of extra storage in. This next level up, um, I put like a walkway around the outside over the, the first sort of set of slope roofs for the pagoda. It just seemed like a lot of empty space and I thought like a little walkway to go around would look good. And I put some rope ladders going down so you can land your flyers on the roof and get in. This next level, I did it sort of like the um, Avery that I built ages ago, the one that I did on the cliff platform, and just had like an area for all your shoulder pets just to chill out. I think my base is made from like wood and stone, they look a bit older, so like fire torches look better for lighting. But I ran the electricity up and just painted the lamps yellow just to give like sort of a, a glow to it, like a fiery glow. Um, and I think the bulb dogs and the feather lights give a bit more colour and light to the base as well. I use this level as like a bit of a landing deck for the Levantra, gives you easy access to the top of the base. And then the top floor I did it almost like a barracks but I put like um, the thatched walls in between so you can sort of space off each bedroom. You know if you've got like different tribe mates want their own space. I've been seeing loads of pictures from all the builds that I've done. Uh, like on Facebook and on my Discord and things, you know, when people have recreated the builds when I've done the how to uh, the how to build tutorials and things. And some of the stuff you guys do is amazing. Like, especially with the interiors. I keep seeing things and think, damn, I wish I'd thought of that, you know, when I'm making the videos. But no, it's a lot of fun to see, like, people recreating everything I, I make. It's really cool. So this is another, like, bit of a fun one. Um, 
I, I decided to put the wooden gate, dino gateways in because when you looked at the pagoda and the roofs just sloped in, it looked a bit empty. It just needed, it just looked like it needed more structure. And I think they look pretty good. They look like they're holding the whole place up. Yeah, so this was just a really quick tour. I'm working on the how to build video, but it's going to take a couple of more days. So I just thought I'd get a video up for the weekend, just show you guys what I'm working on. I am like three subs away from 4,000, so I really appreciate that. And it's just like really spurring me on to keep getting videos out. So yeah, thanks for watching guys, and I will get to work on the build tutorial. So hopefully by Sunday I'll, um, I'll work hard at that. Uh, catch you later guys.